Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a card using Microsoft Word and digital scrapbooking elements. I've put four elements that I like on the desktop right here, and I've got a dot, a ribbon, a piece of twine, and a hinge, and those are the four that I want to use in my card. I'm going to make a Western card. So in Microsoft Word, I'm going to go to File, New Document, and I want to change the um, size of the page and the orientation, so I'm going to go to Page Setup. I'm going to click on a horizontal orientation, and under Page uh, Settings, I'm going to change it to Custom Paper Size, and I'm going to type in 7 by 5 and click OK. Um, it didn't change my orientation, so I'm going to go back and try that one more time. actually need to change it to 5 by 7 with the orientation that I chose. Okay, now I'm going to insert my embellishments from the desktop. So I'm going to go under Insert, Picture, and I'm going to go From File. And I'm on the desktop and these are my four embellishments. So I'm going to double click on the brown um, dot and I'm going to click on it and you'll see a black box comes around it and you can't move this black box anywhere. So if you double click on it and click on format picture, the layout tab and switch it to in front of text and then click OK, then you can move it around wherever you want. I'm going to go ahead and insert another embellishment. I'm going to choose the brown ribbon, double click it, I'm going to select layout in front of text, OK. I'm going to insert um, from the file the hinge. Again, I'm going to double click it, change the layout to in front of text, and click OK. And I'm going to insert the twine. And I'm going to double click it, and I'm going to click in front of text. And I think I grabbed the wrong hinge. I've got a JPEG one and I have a different one that has a transparent background and it's the hinge PNG. So I'm going to click on that one instead. I'm going to delete that first one. In front of text, OK. And then I'm going to go select the picture that I want to use in my invitation. So insert picture from file. And I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to scroll through until I find the picture of my daughter and her horse, and I'm going to double click on it, change the layout to in front of text, and click OK. So now I'm ready to compose my invitation. So I'm going to start by putting, um, making the picture of my daughter and her horse a lot bigger by clicking the corner and dragging it. And then once I have that done, it takes up the whole page, so I'm going to slide it over because I want her on the left side of the page. and. I'm also going to um, move it to the back so I can see all my embellishments again. So now I am going to write, I'm going to make this a little bigger so that you can see a little easier. I'm going to right click on my picture and um, under this menu you go to arrange and I'm going to click send to the back. And When I do that all my embellishments pop up on the front. So now I can move my picture around um, and decide where I would like it. So next, I am going to insert a text box, um, or not a text box, just a regular box that I want to write my inv invitation material on. So I'm going to draw a box using my drawing tools over here on the left, and it'll turn white, so you want to double click it, and we're going to change to the colors and lines menu, for the fill, I want to go to more colors, and I like clicking on the Crayola box because I want this to be like a tan color, so I'm going to click on the brown, and then I'm going to go to the spectrum and kind of go into the tan areas and slide this around until I see the, the tan color that I like, and then I'll click OK. Then I'm going to select no line and click OK. 
I don't really like that color. It's not what I was had in mind. So I'm going to go back to um, more colors and I'm going to go back and I'm going to select yellow and go back to my spectrum. Yeah, that's better. Um, I kind of want something a little more taupe. So in the yellow red category, click OK and OK. Yeah, that's more what I was thinking. Okay, now we need to send that back to because um, we can't see our embellishment. So I'm going to click send to back, but I actually don't want it um, behind my photo. So I'm going to click on it and arrange it again. Right click, click arrange and say bring forward. And it should come in front of the photograph. I'm going to put the brown ribbon towards the top, so I'm going to click on that, and I want all of the ribbon to show, but I need to stretch it out, so I'm clicking and dragging, and I want to make it just a little bit thinner. Uh, that's too thin, so I'm going to stretch it back bigger again, and I'm going to slide the horse picture down a little bit because I want to see more of the horse's ears. Now I'm going to right-click on my brown ribbon, and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to right click and paste. You can use your keyboard controls too. And then I'm going to slide that to the bottom of my invitation. Next I'm going to take this twine and I'm going to put it up in the um, center um, of the area where my text is going to go. And I want the whole thing to show, but I don't like how it's tilted a little bit. So over here on the drawing toolbar, I'm going to click on the rotate button and the boxes, uh, the click and drag area turns green, and I'm just going to rotate it a little bit to make it a little more straighter. And then I'm going to unclick the rotate button, and I'm going to do the next embellishment. I'm going to take the circle and I'm going to shrink it up a lot because I want it a lot smaller. I just want a little dot. I'm going to pull it up in there. I'm going to click on my hinge and I'm going to shrink that up quite a bit. And I'm going to see if I like how those two look um, on top of each other. The hinge, I must need to make a little bigger so that it crosses over the edge of the picture a little bit. There we go, making it a little wider. So now I'm going to click on the button and I'm going to click on the hinge um, holding the shift key and that will select both objects. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to grouping and I'm going to select group. And once I have these two objects grouped together, now I can copy and paste a little easier. So this time I'm going to use control C and then I'm going to use control V and um, another set comes out. I'm going to position that right below and then I'm going to just keep hitting control V to get a few more of these. Control V. I could probably fit one more in. Control V. And that's perfect. So now all I'm ready to do is add my text. So we're going to start with a text box. And I want this to be nice and big. So it's going to go almost all the way across the page. It'll show up white. And I'm going to type in giddy up! Exclamation point. I'm going to highlight my text and I'm going to go up to the toolbar and click on the center button. Then I'm going to go under my fonts and I'm going to select uh, Via Grande. Let's see if I had it already in here. Um, and with the Via Grande, I want to make that grande, so I'm going to change it to at least 36. I'm going to try 48 and I like 48. So now I'm going to double click on my text box and I am going to format this text box by changing it to no fill and no line and click OK. But I want my text to be brown, not black, so I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to click over here on my toolbar to the font color and I'm going to switch to more colors and I already have a brown saved on my spectrum palette so I'm gonna select one of those browns and click OK. And I accidentally moved my tan box so I'm gonna move that back. Okay so now we have giddy up. I'm going to um, type in 
the next set of text and I believe it is grab your boots. I've got to look at a finished invitation because I forget what the text was. Uh, it's grab your boots and help us celebrate. Grab your boots and help us celebrate. And I'm going to click on the text, center it, and I'm going to change this font to Giddy Up. And I'm going to make it as large as I can. And I don't want the G and the grab to be capitalized, so I'm going to change that to lowercase. And that looks pretty good. So, oops, I forgot. I guess celebrate isn't showing up, so now it's too big. So let's go to 16. Let's try 18. Try 20. Try 24. And that looks perfect. So now I'm going to double click on my box change to no fill and no line and click OK. And then I can lower this a little bit if I'd like, or I can keep it there. Now I'm going to add in another text box and type in Brins, and then on the next line, fifth birthday. I will center that. And for this one, I am going to use Western font and I'm going to make that quite large. Um, I want the fifth birthday to be kind of small and I want her name to be big so I'm going to highlight just Bryn and I'm going to make that like 48. And I'm going to go and make the fifth birthday uh, more like 24. I'm going to pull my text box down a little bit and I still want fifth birthday to be a little bit smaller so now I'm going to double click and click no fill and no line, click OK. And this time I want it to be all capitals, so I need to go and edit my text and capitalize everything. OK, I'm going to change the color to a dark navy, so I'm going to select navy. And it's not going to probably be dark enough, so I'm going to go under the spectrum. and make it much darker. Okay, next I'm gonna add one little row of uh, stars. And one of the fonts that I have installed on my computer um, has a star as an option. So I'm going to change to IFC, or IFC Insane Rodeo. And I just downloaded these from the internet. I'm gonna change my size to 24. And if I click on the minus sign, it will make a star in this font. So I'm just going to do a row of stars. And double click on my box. Format my box to have no fill and no line. And click OK. And now I can position that wherever I like. I'm not going to do any more because the rest is just text boxes. Um, so I'm going to show you the final um, invitation. Here's another sample. And I'm going to make this much larger so you can see it a little easier. And on this one, you can see that I added in Saddle Up and Join Us for Horse Rides and Cowboy Cuisine, November 5th, 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., Club West Park. And I just used all the same fonts and changed up the colors. Next, your final uh, step is to save this as a picture so that you can upload it to Costco um, if, you, if you want. Or you can just print it like this directly on your computer. So you're going to go to Edit, Copy, and, or Edit, excuse me, Select All, and then go to Copy. Then you can open a new document and go to Edit, Paste, Special, select Picture as the type, click OK. And then you can right click on this um, box and then you can save it as a picture on your desktop and I'm going to say Invite is the name 
and I'm going to put it on the desktop and I'm going to keep it, I'm going to change it to a JPEG and then I'm going to click save. So you had to right click specifically on the picture. So now if you um, notice on the desktop, there should, I'm moving mine over hopefully so you can see, um, on the desktop there is the invite picture that you just saved and you can double click on that and it'll open it in preview um, and then you can send that off to be printed.